ocean habitats and ecosystems. Many different plants and animals rely on salt water from the sea. Some far out to sea, others prefer life on the beach, and still others like to make their homes in wet, muddy swamps along the coast. The places they live are called habitats. When lots of plants, animals and other organisms, such as bacteria, live together in one habitat, they form an ecosystem. Let's dive in and take a look at some of these unique ocean habitats. Littoral Zone The littoral zone is divided into three sections. First is the area beyond the high tide line where the land gets splashed and sprayed. This includes cliffs, sand dunes and wetlands. Lots of animals and plants like the humid air here. Next is the beach. The tide comes in and out, eroding cliffs and creating caves. Organisms here have to cope with constant changes in temperature, light and salt levels. During low tide, crabs, barnacles and seaweed can be found on the sand and in tide pools. The final section of this zone is always underwater. The water is quite shallow and gets lots of sunlight. Seaweed loves to grow here. Most marine life lives in this part of the ocean. Every continent and island has a shelf of shallow water close to the beach. Then, all of a sudden, the land drops away and the water is very, very deep. Estuaries At estuaries, fresh water from rivers and streams meets salt water from the ocean. We call the water here brackish, meaning it is slightly salty. Sediment Pieces of sand, stone and mud is carried along with the water as it flows into the estuary, heading towards the ocean. Sediment is the main food source for many of the tiny organisms living in an estuary. Conditions in an estuary are affected by tides and seasons. Temperature, salt levels, turbidity, how rough or calm the water is, and depth are always changing. Some animals move to the shelter of an estuary to lay their eggs or rear their young. Some species even burrow into the wet mud at the water's edge to keep themselves safe. Kelp forests Kelp is a type of seaweed that grows in shallow waters. It covers around a quarter of the world's coastlines. It prefers cooler waters. In order to grow, it needs plenty of light and nutrients. Stretching for miles and miles, kelp forests provide food and shelter for creatures such as shrimp, snails, worms, rockfish, sea urchins and sea stars. Larger animals also live amongst the kelp, including seals, sea lions, and whales. Seabirds such as gulls and cormorants love to dive for food amongst the kelp. Kelp forests are a good example of an ecosystem. When sea creatures die, they are eaten by bacteria. The bacteria then release nutrients back into the water for the kelp to use as energy to grow. New sea creatures eat the kelp. When they die, the cycle starts again. Hydrothermal vents the Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates floating on a layer of molten rock called magma. When two plates float away from each other, the gap between them is called a fissure. Many of these are underwater and get filled with seawater. Magma heats the water and pressure builds. Then, suddenly, the superheated water, sometimes more than 450 degrees Celsius, shoots upwards, carrying minerals from the crust along with it. We call these explosive fissures hydrothermal vents. As the minerals dissolve and harden, they often form chimney shapes around the vent. These can be up to 60 meters tall. In spite of the heat and all the toxic chemicals coming out of the vent, lots of organisms live in this ocean habitat. This includes bacteria, giant tube worms, shrimp, limpet, clams, octopuses, and eels. Many use the chemicals for energy. Coral Reef Coral reefs might look like big plants, but they're actually made up of hundreds and thousands of small animals called polyps. They build hard skeletons around themselves out of calcium carbonate, the same mineral found in pearls and shells. When lots of coral colonies join together, they become a coral reef. The biggest coral reef in the world is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. It's the size of about 70 million football fields. That's bigger than the whole of the UK. Coral reefs are found in warm, shallow water. They provide protection for lots of animals and for humans too. Fish, mollusks, sea urchins and sponges all make their homes amongst the reefs. In fact, about a quarter of all marine species live in coral reefs. Reefs also protect humans living along the coast. 
they form a barrier against powerful waves, including tsunamis. Seamounts Seamounts are extinct volcanoes, deep underwater. Most of them form along mid-ocean ridges, where two tectonic plates meet. Many seamounts also have hydrothermal vents. They are scattered along the floor of every ocean in the world. Most of them are in the North Pacific Ocean. If all the seamounts in the world were put together, they'd cover the whole of Europe. Down at the bottom of the ocean, the water is usually very still, but seamounts create underwater currents. Plankton get swept up in these currents. They attract all sorts of fish and marine mammals looking for food. Seamounts are also closer to the surface, which makes them warmer. Coral, lobsters, mackerel, crabs and tuna fish all thrive in this underwater habitat. Migratory animals, journeying from one part of the world to another, use seamounts as signposts and as places to feed before continuing their journey. Mangrove Swamps Mangroves are small trees that grow in estuaries and along shorelines. They thrive best in warm places that are sheltered from the waves, where sediment, mud, clay, sand and stones build up to create wet, muddy swamps full of nutrients. Unlike many plant species, mangroves can cope with high levels of salt and low levels of oxygen. Since they grow in places where the tide goes in and out several times a day, they also have to deal with regular changes in temperature and moisture. Mangrove swamps benefit both humans and animals. Of all species of plant or tree, mangroves absorb the most carbon dioxide. Their large root systems also provide a protective barrier against erosion, storms, hurricanes and tsunamis. Mangrove swamps are quiet and sheltered, which makes them the perfect place for animals to rear their young. They are home to barnacles, algae, oysters, sponges, shrimps, lobsters and crabs. Demersal and benthic zones Seafloor The bottom of a lake, river, sea or ocean is called the benthic zone. It could be just a few centimeters from the surface, or it could be thousands of meters underwater. The demersal zone is the layer of water just above it, though only deep bodies of water have demersal zones. In shallow water, the floor is usually covered with a layer of mud or soil. Meanwhile, the ocean floor is mostly made of sand, rock, or even coral. It is covered with ridges, trenches, seamounts, and rock or mineral formations. Lots of bacteria, fungi, and small animals live in the sediment on the ocean floor. Some eat bits of dead plants and animals that fall to the bottom of the ocean. Others make energy out of chemicals. Some animals burrow into the ocean floor, while others are permanently attached to it. Those that are heavier than water spend most of their time resting on the ground, but others can control how much they float or sink.